Hello and welcome to the Harmony Chunking Script How To Video. This is to be used with the Dance Diffusion Fine Tuning Workflow. The files for this are available on the Harmony Discord and the link will be in the description. As you can see, when you load up the Harmony Discord there, it's in the section marked DD Scripts. If we go up and look at the pinned you should be able to find it. This needs to be opened on Collab. The link will be in the description again. You may have to sign into Google and you can just use the Google sign in form or grab a Google account if you don't have one. Okay, so when we open up Collab, we're going to upload a new IPython file. I'm just going to either browse to one or Here's the one that we downloaded earlier, and I'm going to drag it onto there. That's going to create us this new file here. The first step, step one, is going to be connecting it to the Google Drive. Three pop-ups will appear, which we're just going to permit because we do want to connect to Google Drive, and that will enable a connection called Drive My Drive to appear in the file section on the left-hand side. When it's finished, there'll be a small green tick to confirm that it's done. And if we open the files icon on the left here, then you see that drive has now appeared. On to section two, which is the installation of the AEIOU, pronounced AU. And that's the Audio Engineering IOU tools. This should take 20 or 30 seconds. And once it's completed, then you should get a green tick. Okay, and then we just skip ahead there. There's our green tick has appeared and we, the setup is complete. The next section is optional and it allows you to optionally convert some M33s to a WAV in a predetermined folder. You can just copy the path of the folder, paste it in, press go. And as you can see, it will create a WAV copy of the mp3 files because WAVs are required, WAV or FLAC are required for the fine tuning process. And as you see there they are, they have appeared. As I say, that's optional, not required, just in case you wish to create the WAVs first. Here we are at the main event, the chunking section. The Let's just take a brief moment to review the settings. As you can see, it's uh, just a few to go at. The first section is a small file name that will be added to the name. You can leave it as is. The second section is the size in total of the chunks that you will step across in samples. Sample rate 48k. As you can see, it's also got the option normalizing the audio. And it's got two different types of normalization or none whatsoever. And the spacing settings here set to half, which will be half 13072 as we said above which is 6553 samples it will actually step forward and also the strip which is to strip sections of silence below a certain threshold which is set there below we can set this to any number minus 50 say these settings are fine for all the 6536 models provided final settings is the working path if you go into your drive and copy the folder that you actually want to work on here we are we're just going to copy path and then we're going to paste that in our working path and that's enough to show the system where to chunk and finally just tell it the name of the subfolder that you want to bob the files into in this case we're just going to put chunked and press go you should find that that is enough to actually get your files chunked assuming that you put wavs or mp3s in there and you can see that there's a new folder created called chunked and it contains all our little chunks that will be used during the fine tuning if you made it this far you have your chunks and the work here is done